Congratulations, Ruby. Maniacs. So today we will be reviewing Lay's Masala Chips. I am so pumped because you guys, Indian food is my favorite food in the world. I love Indian food. I know. So I chicken like tiki masala, like the seasoning in chicken tiki masala is garam masala. So masala. We found ah! these at Walmart. Indian flavored chips, you guys. I'm excited. Hey, they have a new like thing. It is global edition. Yeah. So they'll be like Mexican ones too. Well, they're Indian. Yeah, I know, but global edition. Oh, I see. It smells like tikka masala. It's very subtle. But I guess a lot of people don't want to be overwhelmed by flavor. I do. That's why I love masala, because it's like a Here's hardcore like. flavor. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's probably the right color-ish. Like chicken tiki masala. Yeah. Mm. Spicy. I mean, what could be throwing it off for me is on a chip. I'm used to it, you know, over chicken as a sauce. So. Mm -hmm. If I had these, no one told me the flavor, would I go, oh my gosh, that is masala? No. I'd assume it is. I want. I'd be like, I mean, they're good, but I wouldn't say necessarily. Yeah. I think it tastes like a masala salsa mix. There's masala. Lightly, but there's something else definitely overpowering that masala flavor, and I don't know what that Potatoes. is. Potatoes. No, it's like a pickle maybe in there. I'm getting slight salsa from this. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm not sure what they use to season this, but honestly, you guys, they're good. Clearly, they're good. Um... I just... They have a little kick. Masala, to me, has a more rich flavor profile. Hmm. Maybe that's because you're getting that tandoori cooked chicken in there, and it's just... But... Isn't there rice in there, too? Yeah, it's on mm -hmm. a bed of rice. I don't know. For me, there's something with it that's not quite fitting. Lemon! Lemon or lime? Um, you put that in there a little, little bit. Mm. It's, I don't know what that is. That's throwing it a tad bit off. If you guys know, if you guys have tried these and you're big, big fans of, you know, chicken tiki masala or just the garam masala, the spice, um, and you've had these, let me know what you think. Do you think there's something that's not, uh, quite on the money? Hmm. Like you said, whether it's too much of a citrusy in there or salsa y something. Mm -hmm. It's like masala with, I don't know. I don't know. They're good though. Yeah. Would you recommend them? Probably. Were they better than you thought? Yeah. She is not a fan of chicken tiki masala. These just are very spicy, though. Uh, when I make chicken tiki, I tone down the spice, like, a lot because... I hate spice. Her and my mom are not spicy people. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to whack you. <laughs> um, they like their food not, not hot. I like spicy. I like a kick of spice, but not insanely. Yeah, I like where it still is, like, a lot of flavor. But spicy. I don't like when people make stuff so hot where you're like, ugh, it's just hot. Yeah. Indian food, though, happens to be my favorite food on planet Earth. I like sweet and sour, but I don't like spicy. See, I'm not a big sour person. I love sour. Sweet and spicy can really work, but I'm not a big sour fan. 
And there's like a sourness in these chips that does not belong in masala. Hmm. I think you don't mind sour, but you don't like tart. Maybe. But so, would I recommend these? Sure. Would I necessarily call them a masala? Mm. <coughs> I would say with hints of masala. It says, enjoy these masala flavored chips inspired by tastes of India. Um, yeah. Good, though. Did you leave a little Cheeto? Cheeto. Good, just, um... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you could dip them in like something? A korma sauce or like some kind of a cream sauce that might come through more as an Indian flavor. Hmm. But uh yeah. I would I guess I'd recommend them. What would you say? Mm hmm Recommend. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. So be sure to like, like and follow or subscribe. Yep. Go Shitsy Warmy. Bye. Bye.